everybody, we are back, and as you can see, I've got a little place to live here. I have eked out a small living in a cave. It is dark out, and there are lots of things out there that want to kill me. Um, but we'll go take a look around during the day. I have been gathering resources and making tools and finding out things about the uh, mod pack that I had no idea about. But right now, we're going to go down to my mine. I dug my way into this baby ravine is the best way to describe it. A real ravine would be much, much larger, but... And so I've been mining. I always make two mines. I have one at 40, which is where you find most tin and copper, which you need for Feed the Beast. They're super important. And that part is dark and scares me, and I don't want to go there. Um, and I make one mine at 12, which is where you get the best yields of things like diamonds redstone and my water elevator is probably my favorite kind of elevator just all these all these ores that i'm gonna come back to because i don't have a use for them yet oh that reminds me speaking of things i don't have a use for Ooh, there's no athanes in this um i don't know what mod they were from quantum ore i i just learned about that uh, a little bit ago i'll talk about that in a second um but i in in ultimate pack there was, I'm just gonna mine while I'm doing this. There was this item called the Athane. And it was, um, it was one silver and one stick. Super easy to make. And I was really one of my only uses for silver. I didn't use silver for, any, for very much. But its whole claim to fame is that it would two shot an enderman. And that was all I used it for. It was for I need I need lots and lots of ender pearls. Um, I used to I used to find ways to manufacture them in Ultimate, and I don't think I can do that in Direwolf 20. So I'm excited to see how I'm going to have to adapt to that. I've already started using barrels. I'm probably going to have to keep using that. Blue topaz. We're going to go around. I'm trying not to mine seriously. You jerks. I'm trying not to mine ores that I don't have a use for yet, just because all I don't have a I don't have a warehouse or a storage system or anything like that. So all they're gonna do is take up space, and space is at a bit of a premium. Um, we should go in and check and see if it's daytime. I'm making my living off of bread. Wait a little further, and I'm really hoping that we find oh, oh oh silver i have found a bit of diamonds a few i think i have four i already have plants for them that's one of the things we're going to do right now is um well not right now but today we're going to make uh, we're going to make myself a new friend because i get lonely in minecraft even though we're a multiplayer server and uh sometimes i need a friend to help me out and do things for me and so we're going to build a tiny robot and he, she, it, he, uh, she, I think, she, this time, is going to help me out and hang out with me. I don't know what to name her. I'm hopefully going to figure out that, that out by the time I build her. But we're going to go and do some of that. Um, that's a little dark. I'm continually worried about monsters spawning in my, in my mine. Um, yeah. Did you hear something? There's, a bee, there's beehives down here. And these beehives are actually, not only do they glow, which is sort of super useful, they are surrounded by glowstone. And, I mean, glowstone, you normally only find it in the nether. And so when, I, when I, I'm just digging around underground and I find this glowstone, I'm like, what, the, what is going on? And now I've found four or five of them, and the result is that I have a bunch of glowstone. This usually works a lot better than it's currently working. I just sort of run the water down and I hold the space bar and I float to the top slowly. But I mean efficiently and it doesn't use up a whole bunch of wood for ladders. And also it creates this nice pool of water at the bottom so if I accidentally fall in, I don't die. Um, this is not going to be my legit mine, mine shaft or my legit house. Um, this is just my little hidey hole where we are currently making a home until we can find a real home. I mean, it's pretty nice. It's got some of the creature comforts, but it doesn't have room for a workshop or anything like that. All right, so we're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna hope it's daytime. Because when it's daytime, 
uh, the plan today is build a friend. Well, actually, if, it, if it's not daytime, we'll do that. But the plan today is build a friend and do some measuring. And okay, so it's just about daytime. I need some more wood. Do I have more wood? for torches. No, oh, I've got enough. What? What's going on? Why don't I just throw those things on the, on the ground? Ba -da -ba -da -da. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of trying to be super careful. Yeah, I found a, I found a record. Um, I went I went hunting for lava. Um, and I was wondering why lava is my bottleneck. As much as it might seem laughable. So, this is where I settled. I found a, a different valley. Um, but with the same sort of setup, it's this huge sort of curved wall, um, and it's got a giant volcano there, which is looks super good at night. Um, yeah, I know. As much as I say, oh, I, I, I can't get enough lava. It's true that I can't get enough lava. Um, and I will explain why when I after I explain what we're doing. So what I want to do, I really should just build a boat instead of swimming like a sucker. I should also check and make sure that I have a couple of pickaxes. Oh yeah, we're good. Because I want to build into this rock face, and I'm gonna have my my mine shaft and maybe my portal over here, and my workshop and all the rest of everything sort of in this open facing. But what I need to do is measure to see sort of how many floors I can get in and. And then up top we'll have things like crops and, and um, beehives and things like that. So we're going to use a big flat space. I think we're actually going to do it over here. Um, and all I'm going to do is make one of these rows my measuring row. And actually we're probably going to build my own. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to hop. And we're going to pillar. Hop. And then as I pillar my way back down, we're going to count. I really hope there's nothing at the top of this waiting to kill me. Because I am completely... Wow. Hello. How are you? You guys can hang out here for now. I have no idea how I'm going to recruit you into being in my army of evil, but I mean, work for goodness. I mean, house building stuff, but I'll figure it out. Yeah, there's just all these animals hanging out in trees. Mm -hmm. It's whatever floats your boat. I got other stacks of cobblestone here. I have like a, I already have like a thousand cobblestone in a barrel sitting in, in the in the hot little hidey hole. I'm really, sort of not looking forward to that. We're gonna make a measuring pillar, and event, and and so, eventually this will be gone because I will have carved it into everything else. See, that's really that 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 there is really small, but it's enough room for a portal, a portal room. It's enough room for a, uh, I can run a mine shaft down the middle of it, and it'll look kind of cool to have bridges sort of going out at varying levels to that. I might also build a wizard tower on the top because that actually looks like it would be really fun. Yeah, that's, I think, where my wizarding stuff is going to go. There's all kinds of things that I want to do with this. Um, I haven't done any wizarding. Uh, Direwolf 20 uses uh, Ars Magica 2, which I don't know anything about. And Thomcraft 4, which I also don't know anything about. I did a little bit of Thomcrafting, uh, but I never really got into it. I'm an engineer when it comes to Minecraft. I like laying cables and automating things and I know that you can do that with wizardry but you do it in entirely different ways and ways that are super unfamiliar to me but I really want to give it a go and I want to sort of try and get deeper into it rather than waiting until I'm super established as an engineer before doing it because um, there's definitely virtues we hit the top yet oh we're almost there we're almost there is that clouds yes now, I haven't actually explored the top of this, so I'm going to actually do that. I'm apparently not doing that, because I don't have enough blocks to get over there. 
All right. Okay, maybe you should have brought a couple more stacks of cobblestone. Because this is my last one. All right. So we're right up here. And so we're going to probably have a couple of rows for our ceiling. I also need to get a new mouse. My, my mouse is officially dying. It's been dying for a little while, but I'm hoping that it will make it at least through today's video. All right, so we have a couple rows for our ceiling, maybe one more. Um, and if I want to run any cables, I'm going to need a couple more. Oh, there we go. A little bit of, little bit of server lag there. We're good. We're good. Everything's fine. Okay, yeah, my, my, my biggest fear right now is sort of falling off the front of this. Although if I fall if I fall off the back, at least I wind up I wind up in the water. It's just a giant pain in the butt to get back up here. But I do have a lot of cobblestone. Alright, so that's our roof. Now we're gonna be digging into the sides, so and I like I like a ceiling that's four high. Alright, I like I like my rooms to be four blocks high. Because it gives me room to jump. Um, it feels really roomy. Two, two gets cramped. I don't even like two in my mind shaft. I have two right now, but I, it, it just feels cramped. Um, and three is okay, but four, four to me is is where I like it. It's it's roomy. It has room for multi-block things and for for me to run a bit of conduit around. That's the other thing. Is the floors in between? We need room to run cable. So I think we want them to be three deep. One, two, three. And then we start with another floor. And those are four high. So we're gonna have a whole, the plan is to have a whole bunch of floors and I want them to be as open as possible to the outside of this. Um, and then when we get lower, they will run around the edge. Wow, this is much taller than I had imagined. I'm really going to need some lava. Um, and some lights. So again, three for a ceiling. One, two, and then we'll just hollow these out. Three, four. And to answer the question of what am I going to fill all this stuff with, well, all kinds of things. I mean, I'm going to need a workshop, because I like to have a workshop. I'm going to need a place to do some wizarding, which I think we've already decided we're going to put up there. Uh, I need a mineshaft. I need I need storage space. There's a lot of new materials in uh, Feed the Beast, and they take a lot of room to store. Uh, I might want to do some... There's You can use applied ener energistics to create a compact storage system. Um, I don't know a lot about it, but I'm intrigued by what I do know, and I want to find out more about it. But I'm probably gonna gonna wind up doing it the old the old fashioned way, where it takes up a lot of space, and I use a lot of chests and barrels and stuff like that. Okay, three more for the ceiling here, and then oh, there we go. I gotta admit, my heart skipped a beat right there. I was like, oh. All of this is where I fall to my doom. This is much taller than I thought it was. I'm definitely looking over there. Although we're almost, I guess we're almost down to the... Now I am no, I am going to hollow out a lot of this, but I'm not going to manually hollow it out because I will have a friend for that. So that was my floor. And now we're at three for the ceiling. And then one... I think I would like to run it mm. underneath the water as well. I think that would look really cool. But I'm not sure how I want to do that. Um, so, I don't have any thoughts on it at the moment. But this is definitely going to be a large house, which is good because I love large houses. And it's going to level off pretty much right here. And so if we take a step back you can see where the floors are going to be 
and where the ceilings are going to be. And I'm going to use that as my guide um, as I start digging into this arguably mountain. I want to stop and eat some bread. Is it? No, no, I'm just in the shadows. It's not getting dark. Oh, just chowing down. Now, what I want to see is sort of how far... Okay, it goes pretty far back. That is that is enough for me. Partly because I'm worried about getting caught outside mm. after dark. And it is generally getting dark. Like I said, I still haven't figured out all the... I also have some horses over here. Which is exciting. I haven't ever played Minecraft with horses. Which makes me sound like a noob, but it's true. How are my crops doing? Other amazing virtues of the uh, Darvel 20 plant. If I mouse over my crops, it tells me when they're mature. So good. Tells me what percentage they're at. I uh, I did this video uh, I don't know, a month ago or so, but I am colorblind. And that can sometimes make telling when my crops are ready or what, what the hallmark signs of, of having your crops ready um, look like. And that is really hard and annoying. But okay, so let's go inside. Yeah, I mean, I, I just love this volcano. These giant sheets of lava. But here's the thing: is because I talked earlier about about lava being a shortage, and it's true, it is. Um, because although I have all this lava, what I need to fill buckets are source blocks, and all those flows. Are, that are coming from probably just a couple source blocks. And I don't want to use them up because I need them. I don't have any extra wood to build my friend. Well, looks like we're going outside. All right. I have wild carrots. I'm not sure what those are good for. I think you can make a stew with them. Do, 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 do. Just make sure that I don't have anything that I can't afford to throw away. Get that copper in there. Use my stone axe. We're probably going to burn that old wood axe. It's fine. But we did get some wood. Make sure you're right over here. Just give it a little bit. I'm not sure you this. It's fine. I'll deal with the neatness of it later, okay? I understand. I hate I hate floating trees too, but I get scared when it's dark out. I think it's really dark. I haven't lit up any of this yet because I didn't have the resources. I got some thoughts about that, but I'm really, really hoping I find some emerald in the in, in my mining expeditions so that I can do some more things. If I can get an, if I can get a hold of an emerald, I am sitting pretty. I can try, I'm going to try and trade to some of the villagers for it, but I think all the villagers might be dead. I think they may have had an accident. Okay, so I'm going to need some redstone. Um, I think I'm also going to need some sand. So what I'm making is a turtle. Oh, there's, a, there's advanced turtles now, too. Huh. I don't know anything about these ones. This is obviously new stuff. I also don't know what magnet turtles are. Um, but we're going for just a straight up mining turtle. So we need a computer, which is seven solid stone. I uh, I tricked the server into thinking my door is always closed, which is super nice. But I still get nervous. Here's the thing. One of the things I need for my um, turtle. Yeah, see, I have 830 cobblestone in here. Is one of the things I need. That is really close. Whoa! Okay, uh, one of the things I need is sand 
it turns out, no glass. And I don't have any, because I'm silly. Um, so I can make a lot of this, but I can't make the computer, because I don't have, I don't have sand for glass. Now I could make some, but this zombie would kill me. I suppose that's not technically true. Come get some. Come and get some. That was my. That was my, my favorite games. That'll be fine. Yeah. You hear anything? I don't hear anything. Can I ask for sugar? I'm gonna run and get some sand real quick. I was barbecuing cows earlier by uh, knocking them into the lava and then waiting for them to wander out while they were on fire. And you need to watch because I am going to be careful. Okay, and I need a bunch of sand because I need panes, not uh, glass blocks. So how much do I have? Eight. Eight will do. Eight is exactly how much I wanted. Okay, now we're going to go back inside. I really don't like being out at night. I, I, once I get armor and I, and a decent sword and, but right at the beginning, I just, I hate dying so much. I get so frustrated and so I just, I try and stay indoors and play it super safe. Oh, yeah, looks like I made it in just in time. That was my phone. That was Kaylee. Um, I'm going to go see to her in a minute. I just need to make some stuff. Alright, so we are going to, real quick, here's my iron. I'm going to make some things. Step one, wood. There we are. Need sticks, because we need a diamond pick to make the actual mining turtle. Used to be able to use uh, green sapphires and blue sapphires, but those no longer exist. Um, not in this pack, so now I have to use diamonds, which I don't feel super good about because I need diamonds for other things. But trust me when I tell you this turtle is going to be worth her weight in gold. Um, so what else do we need here? We need a computer. So we need, oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Six glass blocks. And then we're going to make this computer, and then we are going to... Well, we're gonna make we're gonna build our turtle. I'm not I'm not gonna program her or anything. And I actually, um, if you guys have a suggestion for a name for for my turtle, leave it in the comments. Um, ironically, I am one wood short because <laughs> I also need a chest, and I'm not using this one. Well. Time to go hit that tree again. All right. Oh, oh God. Time to go back inside. Shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. Well, I, I didn't really. I mean, I didn't need it that badly, I guess. Actually. That's an apple oak. I have a better idea. Grab some dirt. Grab some dirt. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. It's scary and there's monsters out, so I'm nice not going to mess around with the monsters, making sure there's no monsters down here, because I haven't really, you know, thoroughly examined everything. Oh, and there's some dirt right here. How you doing? All right. So that's my diamond. Yeah, I don't want to die with my computer, my diamond pickaxe and stuff. Because, I mean, this, like, diamond pick, I would, I would cry. About it. Okay, so time for... Hopefully this will work. Uh, but damn! That did not work. Maybe we need some more light. But damn! Nope. Okay. That, I, I was hoping that would work. Um, usually it's easy to grow trees indoors. 
And I got this kind of sparkly effect, but I don't know that it did anything, which is unfortunate. Oh, I'm stuck over here. I got my computer, at least. Oh! We are not going outside, though. It's almost daytime. <sighs> this is what happens when you plan things somewhat poorly. We've got a computer. We've got a diamond pickaxe. We've got all the right parts to make a pearl. Um, now we just gotta make one. See? You really need to go away. Oh wow, there's a lot of stuff out there. Alright, well I'm gonna deal with this. And I will see you guys in a couple of weeks. So leave your names for the turtle in the uh, comments. I will pick one. And um, that will be your name. We're going to have a bunch of turtles eventually. But for now, we'll, this will be our first turtle. I am suspicious. I don't have a back door either. I really should. Alright. So, I will see you guys next week with some fear. And it will be me being terrified in a totally different